Today we're going to look at finding the time value for money using the Casio FX9750G2 calculator. The first thing that I need to do when I look at my calculator is I turn it on and I press the menu key and I check to find the time value for money and I see that it's right here, it's A. So I can either press A or I can use my cursor and move it over and press execute and now I've started. I know that this is a compound interest problem because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the payment on a $100,000 mortgage that I'm going to be paying for for 25 years and my interest rate is 4.5%. And since it's compound interest, I can simply look here and see that it says F2 is compound interest. Another way of finding it is to look above the cursors and I can see that right above the F2 button is the word compound. So I press F2 and now it needs some information. N is the number of payments in 25 years is 300 months and I know that I want to use number of months because I'm trying to find out my monthly payment. Now in this case interest with a percentage time after it tells me I'm going to put in my annual interest rate which is 4.5 percent and when I'm done putting my information in I press execute to tell the calculator that I'm done giving them the information. Uh, what my um, initial value is is negative one hundred thousand dollars because that's how much I owe and execute. I don't know what my payment is. I know that my final value, the final amount that I want to owe them is zero and I'm going to make 12 payments per year. Now you notice I left PMT blank because I don't know what my payment is and this will allow me to solve for any of those things. So if I want to find my payment I simply press F4 and my payment on this, intra on this loan is $555.84 a month. Now let's say that I knew how much I had to pay let's say I knew I could pay up to seven hundred dollars a month and I wanted to know how much money that could get me how much could I borrow if I was going to spend seven hundred dollars a month at this time I'm gonna put PV in for zero because I don't know what that amount's gonna be four and a half percent interest seven hundred dollar a month payment and I'm looking for PV so if I go down here I can see PV right above the F3 button press that and I can, I can borrow about $126,000 at that interest rate.